1480 News Now, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. From the 1480 Newsroom, I'm Phil Kuhn. Kosciuszko County officials are currently investigating the drowning death of two Warsaw teenagers. Kosciuszko County Sheriff's deputies and dive team members were called Saturday afternoon to the 2000 block of South Maple Run in Warsaw regarding a possible drowning. Before they arrived, officers were notified that one drowning victim had been pulled from a private pond at the home. On arrival, dive team members recovered the body of the second victim. The two boys who drowned are identified as 17-year-old Corbin Foster and Caleb Lampkin. Sheriff detectives were also called Saturday around 1.40 a.m. to the residents regarding two missing juveniles. Officers searched the neighborhood area but were later advised that the two had possibly left the party and went into the city. The Atlanta Falcons have released former Notre Dame linebacker Prince Shembo after police unveiled animal cruelty charges against the 23-year-old. Police Corporal Michelle Pajera says Shembo was left alone with his girlfriend's dog last month, and when the girlfriend returned, the dog was dead. She says Shembo provided inconsistent statements throughout the course of the investigation. The Falcons released him almost immediately after they learned of his arrest warrant from authorities. Your weather's coming up in 15 seconds. Get the vehicle you want at The Car Company in Warsaw. You'll find more makes, models, colors, and styles of high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at half the price of new. And now your new full-line Suzuki dealership for motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. The Car Company on U.S. 30 East in Warsaw. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, tonight will be mostly clear and cool with a low of only 48. Tomorrow we should see mostly sunny conditions with highs in the low 70s. And Wednesday, more sun with a high of 78 degrees. Today, Indiana State Police announced the results of the 2015 Click It or Ticket campaign. Police say 2,973 tickets were issued for seatbelt violations over the course of the program that ran from May 15th through May 31st. The results are based on electronic ticket information, and the number could increase with the reporting of handwritten tickets. Last year, there were 748 fatalities on Indiana roadways. Nearly one-third of those fatalities were unrestrained. Looking for a new job? Well, 1480 News Now will be holding a job fair tomorrow at the Kosciuszko County Fairgrounds from 9 to 4 p.m. Candidates should bring a current resume and dress professionally. For the full list of employers that will be at the job fair, visit 1480newsnow.com. From the newsroom, I'm Phil Kuhn.